Alright, here we go. Hello, this is CB Ultra 768, and welcome to the Hostess Maker video. Yes, as you can see, I am Seiji Ama. Uh, this is me after part 6. I've gotten to that point in the game, but this whole video is going to be focusing on Akiyama-san trying to get three girls trained up to be hostesses. So, I hope you all enjoy the video, and let's get started. Not bad. Really? <laughs> this is a little embarrassing. It's time to go out on the club floor. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll get customers. Okay. Eight hours later. Alright, we're back here. I'll say, I was just doing my normal cabaret thing, or running the club thing, and this just happened. I'm like, oh, okay, this is different. I guess they added a bit of story thing, so okay. We've got a bit of a problem, sir. Hi left the club a while ago and hasn't come back. She didn't seem to be upset or anything, but she's not answering her phone. Okay, I'll try to find her. Thank you. Hmm, where would Hi be likely to go? Hmm, okay, so we have to go find her? Where would she likely to go? I didn't... I had no idea that this was part of... Part of it, huh? Okay. Well, there she is, though. She's out here all dressed up in her outfit and everything. What the hell? Hmm. What are you doing here? Oh, Akiyama-san. Hey there. How's the hostess life treating you? Getting used to it yet? Yes. My apartment is amazing. I can spend a whole day there and not feel bored. I'm glad to hear that, but don't forget to call home now and then. What? No, I don't want to have anything to do with my father anymore. I don't even want to hear his voice. Aren't your parents paying for your tuition? If you really wanted to cut ties with them, you'd have quit school. Okay, off to work now. There are a lot of folks back at the club who will want to see you. Alright. I want to prove that I can make it on my own. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do this. Sounds like a tough situation. Nothing I can really do to help it, though. Hopefully working at the club will help her figure things out. Okay, I didn't know that they would do this. But, I mean, I'm still glad I'm doing this off-screen. So it's like, okay, these do have little stories, but it's like, yeah, I'd rather do this crap off-screen instead of, like, streaming. So, yeah. Let's get to it, then. All right. Is Hi Chan back? Yes, sir. Uh, thank you. I'm glad it was nothing. Good. That's all for today. I'll see you when you return for Hi's next session. All right. All right. With that, I'm assuming we're going to back to the club stuff. So let me cut that. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, we're back. I did it. I got Hi to number one. Well done, Akiyama-san. Very impressive. You managed to make Hi Sun the number one hostess. Looks like the manager would like to talk to you. You should go see what he wants. Okay. Hi Sun is now our number one hostess at the club. Thank you for all your hard work, sir. I didn't do that much. She's already a pro. Why don't you put together a special outfit for her to use from now on? Sure. Whatever will help her do her best. The outfit you chose will be the one she wears in the club later on. Okay. Huh. I did find this out, though. Of uh, that. Basically, I found out... I thought Kiryu and the other guy only have two. Turns out they do have three. It turns out you train the hostesses that they have to date. So, yeah. <laughs> I didn't... When I found that out, I was like, Fuck! You sons of bitches. But, I mean, I'll do them. I mean, those hostess things are a lot better than this. This sucks. It's just so slow. Okay, let's get started. Okay. First, let's get you changed into an outfit that brings out the best of your natural beauty. Don't worry, I guarantee you'll look good. So, I was about to say, is this just basically, just choose what you want? Because again, since she's already number one, none of this matters. Alright, I'll show you what I come up with. I'll be right back. Alright, <laughs> here's my creation. Just whatever. I <laughs> just put together whatever. Again, I want to save some money for the other girls too, so. Yes. 
There you go. <laughs> so, we'll see who dates her. <laughs> there you go. That's... So now I'm curious who's gonna get her, Is it, who's gonna get high. Is it gonna be Kiru or the other guy? Again, I haven't learned his name yet, because we haven't really met him yet. Excellent choice! Thank you. She'll be an asset to the club for a long time to come. Hi will now appear as a hostess in the club. Fantastic! Great! Alright, so that's it, huh? Is that really just it? Oh, here we go. Thank you for all of your help, Akiyama-san. I still can't believe I'm a number one hostess. I just gave you a little advice. You did all the hard work. <laughs> I'm definitely going to make all the girls look ridiculous <laughs> with the hair and stuff. <laughs> it's like just anime chicks all around. <laughs> oh man, this club sure turned into an otaku club. <laughs> oh no, I couldn't have done it without you. So... Do you think you're going to be able to patch things up with your dad? No way! He's as stubborn as a mule. Once he digs in his heels, there's no changing his opinion. Which, if you want to be, see the beginning of that story, check out the last part, which would be part 5 of uh, Yakuza, 5, Yakuza 4. So yeah. You sometimes get customers at the club who are about your father's age. You seem to get along with them well enough. Why is it so different with your father? Because he's my dad. I mean, for one, he, my customers are actually nice to me. They're nice to you because you're not their daughter. They probably don't treat their own kids like they treat you at the club. Your father acts the way he does because he loves you. It's different than just talking to someone over drinks. You really should try and see things from his perspective. Maybe the next time I have a customer around my father's age, I'll ask him how he feels about all this. I think you might learn something. Good luck. Alright. Thank you for everything. Everything, sir. Let's all thanks. It's all thanks to you that our club has become this popular. That's good to hear. Thank you again. Thank you again, sir. Please accept this as a token of our appreciation. You got a 10G coin. I'll contact you again if anything else comes up. Alright. So now, I'm assuming I can go hunt for the next girl. And I know there's one in the bar over here by Bantam, but I'm going to go to the underground mall and find that one first. So, be right back. Uh, I was wandering around trying to find a new girl, but I guess this explains why I couldn't find her. I went down to the mall. I'm like, where is she? Then it's like, oh, I have to wait for him to call me. So, uh, so you have to wander around until he decides to call you. Jesus, criminy. All right, anyway. I need to talk to you about the club again, sir. Do you have the time to stop by? All right, I'll drop by later. I'll be here. Got it, later. All right, let's go now. So I didn't know that that happens. It's like, oh, you gotta wait. Ugh, so annoying. Well, again, I'm still glad I cut, because again, I had to like wander down the street to like real until I realized like, oh, hey. <laughs> So, hey, what do you need? Hello, sir. I'm sorry to call you here again. How are things going with the club? Things are getting better, thanks to you. We still have a shortage of girls, though. Huh. That could be a problem. Indeed. We simply must find more hostesses. Otherwise, our business won't improve. All right, I'll sort it out. Okay, okay. I get the message. I'll sort it out again. You'll help us again, sir? It is what it is. This is my club, and I'll do what it takes to save it. Thank you, sir. We'll do what we can to help. Please, stop by recruiting hostess. Look around town if you find a promising girl. Bring her back here. Will do. Here are some funds to use. Unfortunately, we can't spare more than 100,000. I mean, dude, I already, <laughs> I already have 300,000. I'm good, man. Good luck. Yep, yep, yep. All right, now I'll go to the underground mall and find her. So be right back. All right, we're back. I'm in the underground mall and we're about to get our new hostess here. Since it's your payday, why don't you splurge on a bottle of champagne? Come on, live a little. Champagne? That's kind of expensive. That's no way to talk. You'll never get ahead at work if they think you're a cheapskate. Who are you to tell me how to spend my money? Keep your hands in your own damn wallet, all right? Wow, okay. I'm just trying to help you get ahead. 
Look, apparently you want me to be this rich guy who throws money all over the place, but that's not who I am. I can't afford all this stuff. If you can't accept that, then maybe we should see other people. Wait a minute, are you, are you breaking up with me? Yeah, have a nice life. <laughs> I'm pathetic. Uh, why does this always happen? I swear, there are no good men in this city. Hell, maybe in Japan. I could try recruiting her for the club. Excuse me, can I talk to you for a second? Huh? What's up? Would you be interested in working at a hostess club? A hostess club? Why would I want to work somewhere like that? You'll get to meet new people every day at the club. Hell, you could even meet the guy of your dreams. Look, I'm just a normal businesswoman. I don't have time for another job. That's okay. Your schedule can be set around your day job. Lots of girls have at day jobs too. Really? Huh. Maybe I'll look into it. I could certainly use the money. Then, it's settled. I'll show you to the club. Come on. Alright. Welcome to Elise. We're gonna make you into this club's number one hostess. You'll need to come up with a name to use in the club. What would you like your name to be? Alright, what's your name? Your name's Nanami. You will be known as Nana. You are Nana from Nana to Karu. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's a fun manga to read. There are some other mangas, other series based off that. I want to read more of that too. <laughs> and if you know what Nana to Karu is, you know my kind of taste. <laughs> anyway, Nana, huh? That works. You'll use that name at the club from now on. Okay, thank you. First, let's get you into a change of outfit that brings out the best of your natural beauty. Don't worry, I guarantee you'll look great. So I think from here on out, this is all just going to be the same crap. So afterwards, it's like whatever. So yeah, we'll be right back after I level her up again. <gasps> All right, we're back. Uh, I didn't show this because it wasn't nothing major, but basically they introduced a uh, cosplay, basically, where I had to get 10 people to request her, the new girl, while she was in her cosplay, basically. So I did that. And I was wondering, we got to like 15, I was wondering if this was gonna happen. Yep, <laughs> so maybe you'll get to see what I dressed her up as for the cosplay thing, since he's saying we got a problem here. So anyway. We've got a bit of a problem, sir. Nana left the club a while ago and hasn't come back. She didn't seem to be upset or anything, but she's not answering her phone. Okay, I'll try to find her. Thank you. Hmm, where would Nana be, be likely to go? Well, if I had to assume, she's probably back at that bar. Because last time we found Hi here. So she must be back at the bar. So let me just cut to where we get there. Be right back. All right, I'm back. <laughs> As you can see, she's right here. And this is this was the outfit I had to have her wear for the stupid cosplay thing. <laughs> I just figured, I'm like, oh, if I want to make it look cosplay, made outfit and cat ears, of course. <laughs> it's the classic. Hmm, what are you doing here? And why are you still wearing your cosplay costume? <laughs> I'm actually kind of glad that she get, that we get to do this scene while she's in her cosplay costume. That's kind of funny. Oh, Akiyama-san. Hey, don't worry about taking some time off. If you feel like it's going to help, take as much time as you need. So, how are things going? Found any decent guys yet? <laughs> I mean, I have a lot of rich customers, but as men, they leave something to be desired. If you catch my drift... It's a hard road finding the perfect man, I've heard. How's your day How's your day job going? I imagine they keep you pretty busy. Actually, they put me completely in charge of a project, so I'm busy, but I love it. Sounds like you're a natural leader. You could probably quit the company and work for yourself. Work for myself? I've never thought of that. Hmm. I think she'll do just fine. All right. Is not a champ back? Yes, sir. Thank you. I'm glad it was nothing. Good. That's all for today. 
I'll see you when you return for Nana's next session. All right. All right, back to it. Take this pass off, baby. All right, back. As you can see, I got Nana to number one. Woo! -hoo! I thought I was gonna have to get like 50 customers, so I'm like, oh no, okay, there, we did it. Awesome. All right, cool. We finished. Ah, uh, two down, one more to go. Well done, Aki Akiyama-san. Very impressive. You managed to make Nana-san the number one hostess. Looks like the manager would like to talk to you. You should go see what he wants. Mm-hmm. Nana-san is now our number one host. I messed up his voice. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Nana-san is now our number one hostess at the club. Thank you for all your hard work, sir. I didn't do that much. She's already a pro. Why don't you put together a special outfit for her? Make her look even sexier, sir. Sure, whatever will help her do the best. Yep. All right, let's do it. Well, let's get started. Yes, let's. First, let's get you changed to an outfit that brings out the best of your natural beauty. Don't worry, I guarantee you'll look terrible. All right, be right back. All right, we're back. Here we go. Here's my creation. <laughs> she said she was a businesswoman, so I got her just a businesswoman outfit and just decided to go crazy on the hair and everything. And it cost me 130000 Though, my funds, I don't know if this is a glitch or not, but they're maxed out. I'm like, wait, what? Why do I have 99999000 yen? I don't understand, but okay. All right, cool. There you go. You're beautiful, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Again, like I said, I want to do these outfits because I'm so curious. Like, who, who who's going to date like these girls? Especially looking like this. Especially if they're going to do the scenes where it's like, oh, I want to be alone with you. It's like, oh, God. <laughs> they're wearing that outfit. Oh, that'll be great. Anyway, excellent choice. Thank you. Should be an access to the club for a long time to come. Yay! Nice. All right, got it all done. Let's finish her story up and uh, wait for him to call us back, and then we can go for the last girl. So awesome! Again, I'm making good time because I'm recording this on Saturday. I'm gonna be live streaming Sunday, but I'm trying to get this crap done before I have to live stream tomorrow. So I'm trying to get this done as fast as I can, and just you know. Basically, I'll live stream and then I'll, whenever I can, edit this video. And I'm thinking probably upload this on Wednesday. Like, this might be a Wednesday video. So, yeah, we'll see. Anyway. Thank you for all your help, Akiyama-san. I still can't believe I'm the number one hostess. I didn't do much. You did all the hard work. So, did you meet any promising men? To tell you the truth, no. Maybe I'm just too picky. Well, you're welcome to work here at the club until you find Mr. Wright. <laughs> that's that's what continues this sub-story, too. The fact that she's going to date one of the characters, too. So so her story continues until she meets, like, Mr. Wright, which will probably be one of the other characters. That's kind of funny. I kind of like that. That's kind of funny. That it's like, oh, the hostesses that you train, you also have to date as the other characters. Yeah, I'm glad I decided to do this to get it out of the way. So anyway... <laughs> Thank you. I will. All right. Thank you for everything, sir. It's all thanks to you that our club has become this popular. That's good to hear. Thank you again, sir. Please accept this as a token of our appreciation. Thank you. I'll call you again if anything comes up. All right. So, like I said, we're going to wait. I'm just going to wander around until he calls us. And then we'll hopefully finish with the last girl. And I will finally be done with this. Again, at least you only have to do it with Akiyama once. Like, thank God. Thank God you don't have to do this with, like, Kiru and, like, the other characters. That would be bad. Anyway, be right back when he calls us. Alright, we're back. Finally called. I'm sorry to keep bothering you, sir, but would you mind stopping by the club? Sure, no problem. I'll be here. Got it. Dang, I was just about to go to the pawn shop. Oh well. Alright. Let me just get to the club real quick. 
Thank you for coming, sir. I'm sorry to keep bothering you like this. How are things going? I'm afraid we still have too few hostesses. I thought as much. I think one more could be enough to turn things around. Uh, could I ask you to recruit another hostess for us? Alright. Alright. I'll try and find one more girl. Thank you very much. First, uh, let me give you your funds. As usual, I'm afraid we can only spare 100,000. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Look how much money! It went up to a billion! Jesus. Good luck. Yep. I know this. I know I know I know all this. You don't need to tell me. I know everything about you won't let me play the story unless I recruit. I know. Alright. And here she is. That's why I decided to save her for here, because it's like, oh well she's close by. We could just go right in. Here she is. Who are you? Kyoko. We sure didn't we sure didn't we sure didn't get get many people at the show today. We even had to pay for the tickets because no one would buy them. I'd take any kind of sales at this point. Hell, even 500 yen would break a new record. Right now, we're losing money every time we play a show. And I can't really ask my parents for money. Come on, guys. Don't talk like that. Sorry, I gotta, I gotta go to work. See you later. Bye then. I gotta go, I gotta get going too. Huh? I thought you didn't work today. My job at the convenience store isn't making me enough cash. I've gotta go find, I gotta go find another job. I gotta head out too, see ya. I really need to get a job too. I could try recruiting her for the club. Of course. Hello. Excuse me, can I talk to you for a minute? What? No, you can't have my number. I don't want your number. I was wondering if you were interested in working as a hostess. You mean like at a club? I couldn't help overhearing your conversation. If you need money, working as a hostess at a hostess club is a great option. Hmm, actually that might be interesting. Sure, I'll do it. Then, it's settled. I'll show you to the club. Come on. Even another thing I realized, uh, the outfits that I save, you actually, it actually saves them. So, the next time when I need to change, it's just like, oh, I immediately have the outfit. Wow, okay, that helps. Which is very helpful. I didn't notice until the second girl, because I tried to, like, change her look. But the outfit I changed actually was for the better, so that was good. Welcome to Elise. We're going to make you into this club's number one hostess. You'll need to come up with a name to use in the club. What would you like your name to be? So your name's Kyoko. Your name will be... K.O. Your... Because, my dear, you are a knockout. K.O., huh? That works. You'll use that name at the club from now on. Okay, thank you. First, let's get you changed into an outfit that brings out the best of your natural beauty. <laughs> I just realized he says the exact same thing. All right, time for me to get to work. All right, be right back when there's some story stuff. Boof. Okay, back. Hey, how about it? Money mo, money mo, 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 mo. Moo, 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 moo. All right, we're back. <laughs> we had to do another cosplay thing, so great. <laughs> I got her to rank 15, and of course she's wearing like the outfit. God damn it! <laughs> Though it's not like the other one. It's not the maid outfit this time. You'll see. We've got a bit of a problem, sir. Ko left the club a while ago and hasn't come back. She didn't seem to be upset or anything, but she's not answering her phone. Okay, I'll try to find her. Thank you. Hmm, where would KO be likely to go? Well, gee, it's probably like where all the other ones go, where I first find them. It's probably at the bar. As always, you know? <sighs> Alright. Hey, KO, I'm here to visit. 
Yep, there she is. Yeah, so has the cat ears, but now she's wearing a schoolgirl off. Because, <laughs> again, I was trying to raise her motivation just so, uh, you know, you get a little something. But we're doing good. Hmm? What are you doing here? Oh, Akiyama-san. Hey, don't worry about taking some time off. If you feel like it's going to help, take as much time as you need. How are things going with the band? Meh, all of the other members work part-time too, so we don't get the chance to practice often. I see. We can't work part-time jobs forever though, not if we want to make decent money. But if we get real jobs, we'll have no time left for the band. Ain't easy trying to chase after your dreams, huh? Don't worry about it too much. You never know what'll happen in life. Don't underestimate yourself. Maybe you're right. Thanks. I feel better now. Awesome. Get your ass back to work. <laughs> Is K.O. Chan here? Yes, sir. Thank you. I'm glad it was nothing. Good. That's all for today. I'll see you when you return for K.O.'s next session. All right. All right. Be back in a bit. All right. We're back. I think I did it. Judging by this dialogue, I think I've finally finished. Yeah. So what does he have to say? At this rate, you're gonna be giving me advice. You sure are an expert at training hostesses. All right, we did it. Woo! Finally done. Oh shit. Ah, there we go. You love to see it. All right. Woo! Kaioson is now our number one hostess at the club. Thank you for all of your hard work, sir. Oh, uh, I said that wrong. I did my more manly British. Chaos, Chaos on is, is our number one hostess at the club. Thank you for all of your hard work, sir. I, I think I said it right. Again, my brain's a bit scrambled. I've been doing this for a while now. My brain is, oh, it's turned into scrambled eggs. Having to stare at the screen, walk around, and just all this shit. Ugh. But we're finally done. Okay. <laughs> uh, there should definitely be a trophy for this, too. <laughs> And I mean, again, I mean, it's part of the game. Like, I figure, like, well, they went through the hard work of putting all this in. Or, I mean, copy and pasting this into the game. Might as well. I didn't do that much. She's already a pro. Why don't you put together a special outfit for her to use from now on? Sure. Whatever will help her do her best. Yep. Alright, time to make you look like the craziest. Yes, let's. Yep, time to make you look insane in the membrane. All right, be right back with my horrible creation. All right, here you are. My creation, it is complete. She's the only one that I decided to go with this hairstyle with because I was like, oh, well, she's in a band, so she should have like a rockin' hairstyle. And I said I wanted one of the girls to have cat ears, so <laughs> I can't wait to see who's gonna date her with the cat ears. Oh my god. I'm excited to actually see this. It's gonna be insane. <laughs> well, anyway, alright, there we go. My final creation. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh God! Once she steps outside, people are gonna be like, "What the hell is that?" <laughs> Excellent choice. Thank you. She'll be an asset to the club for a long time to come. Yay! She'll now appear as a club hostess. <sighs> All right. Fuck. We did it. Again, like I said, I'm glad I got this done before Sunday. Seriously. Because, again, this is probably going to take a bit to edit. I mean, it's mostly probably going to be me just throwing clips together. But, you know, I might add in my own little humor and editing skills. Because I like to edit sometimes, you know. Like, I don't just like to just, here, put the clips in, done. I try to, you know, be creative when I can. Anyway. Thanks for everything, Akiyama-san. I still can't believe I'm the number one hostess. To tell you the truth, I'm a little surprised myself. How are things going with the band? Hmm, about the same. But now that I'm not worrying about money as much, things are going a bit smoother. Good. 
I think I'm gonna stick with hostess hostess ding for a while. The money's a big help, and who knows, maybe I'll meet somebody who can help with the ban. <laughs> Either Kiryu or the detective. <laughs> You're more than welcome to keep working here for as long as you like. Good luck. All right. Thank you for everything you have done. You've managed to train three excellent hostesses, and the club is doing very well. I'm just glad to be of help. I know the club will be able to keep itself afloat from now on. If not, if not exceed all of our expectations, I doubt we'll need to ask you to go out of your way to help us again. All right then, keep up the good work. Thank you again, sir. Please accept this as a token of our appreciation. <laughs> Woo! Thank you. Oh, what's this? I'll say, is that them? Let's make a hostess reward. Bob, you've taken all your hostesses to the very top. Congratulations. You are worthy of the title Midnight Producer. I have a prize for you. Come to the palace. All right, let's go to the palace and see what reward I get for this. All right, we're back. Here we are. All right, what do you got for me, Bob? I wonder, does she say anything new? No. Until a year ago, I told fortunes on the street under the name... X Tiger. Unfortunately, I had only a few customers, as many thought I was creepy. I was trying too hard, what with pretending to be the silent, mysterious type, speculating crystal balls, scary, and tarot cards. I cannot go into details, but since money is no longer an issue, I set up shop here and opened up last summer. The mood is much more mysterious here. The best things about this place are its cool summers and warm winters. I still don't get many customers, though. Well, whatever. Hey, I'm Bob Utio. Let me see what I've got for you. Oh, the dragon shirt. Something about this shirt attracts people to whoever wears it. A bit suspicious. I will say, this is the thing I didn't earn in the uh, the last game. Apparently, you had to eat all at all the different food places. You had to eat every food on their menu. And you'd get the dragon shirt in this. But, oh, I got it for here. So, again, I think, if I remember, you're supposed to be able to use this shirt for hostess, right? So, hopefully, like, if stuff carries over in the inventory, then I could use it for the other characters, and that'll be helpful. But, I guess we'll see. But, okay, thanks. Okay. I'll give you another one if you lose it. Alright, and with that, we are officially done. So, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, little video. This short little video. Again, like I said, I'm glad I decided to do this. I was like, well, if I'm going to like do the hostess maker, I'd rather just skip all the gameplay and just, you know, show the little story bits with each of the hostess. And I'm glad I did that because, I mean, it's just like whatever. Because, again, the gameplay was the exact same where it's like, oh, change them into the right outfit, walk around, get speculation on what you need next, and then just just do it over and over again until you finally get number one. Boring in Yakuza 3, and it's just as boring in Yakuza 4. God, I hope they get rid of it in Yakuza 5. I guess we'll see in the future, but it's all done now. I never have to do it again. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this short video. This has been CB Ultra 768, and I'll see you all with some more Yakuza 4, Yakuza 4 and many other games next time. So stay tuned for that. Bye-bye. Mm,